Kick out the teeth, oh father May we wash me foot in our damn blood, father Black and them people, they have move out a harder Big brother They were twins in our room They were twins in our room Not a Zach twin, but paternal twins We And the first came out red And the first came out red? Came yeah. out red No, the white man white Red, red. He came out what? Red. red You can see his blood through his face Red When he blush, he turned what? Red When you slap him, he turned what? Red He should be what? Red We all over like a hairy garment Like a what? Like, like a, a hairy, hairy garment. garment Now if you don't get that white man that razor blade He be all hairy like a hairy garment right. We already know that So it's right. specific The prophecy is specific So this man will be red all over like a hairy garment and you can look at the so-called Caucasian man, and he's a red man. Because you can see his blood that showed through his face. Why? Because God put that curse on them and marked them. To let you know, this is the man of sin right here. Read. And they called his name Esau. And they called his name what? Esau. And they called his name Esau. Go to, uh, go to the book of Obadiah. No, go to Malachi 1 and uh, start at 1. Go to Malachi 1 and 1. Now we finna expound on Esau. We finna expound on Esau, which is the biblical name of the so-called white man. Just like when you read the Bible, you don't see white man, black man, you don't see Puerto Rican. No, God gave everybody a name in the Bible. Nationality. Edomite, the Ishmaelite, the Jebusite, the Hizite. He gave us all names already. But through the white man coming and, and colonizing the whole world, he renamed everybody. But now God has put the spirit of remembrance and the spirit of truth on the servants to come out and bring forth the prophecy as it is written. Read. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 1. Come on. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. To Israel by Malachi. The word Israel is talking, anytime brothers and sisters you hear the word Israel, it is talking to you blacks, Hispanic, and Native American, and Indian, Negro, or descent. That's who it's talking to. Read. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Read that again. I have loved you, saith the Lord. God said he had loved you, brothers and sisters, saith the Lord. You blacks, Hispanic, and Native American, God said he had loved you. Read. Yet ye say, we're in. Has thou loved us? Now, but our people say, God, where in have you loved us? We on the bottom. We in slavery. Everybody ruling over us. They're killing us in the street. We on welfare. We 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 15 percent of the American population, but we 80 percent of the prison system. Where has thou loved us? That's what our people say. That's why a lot of our people don't believe in God. We say, where have thou loved us? We was not Esau Jacob's brother. No, no. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Let me bring it up to this term. Was not the white man the black man's brother? That's what it's saying. But it used the biblical term. Read. Say it's the Lord. Read. Yet I have, yet I love Jacob. Yet I love Jacob, the black, Hispanic, and Native American. Read. And I hated Esau. And he what? And I hated Esau. And he what? And I hated Esau. And God said he hated Esau. He hate him. Give me Amos 1 and 11. Why do we hate him? Keep his finger there. Give me Amos 1 and 11. Why do God hate Esau? Why? Amos 1 and 11. Right there. Read. There this is the book of Amos chapter 1 verse 11. Read. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Read. For three transgressions of Edom. For three transgressions of who? Of Edom. Of Edom. Edom is the biblical name of the so-called white man. Read. And for four, I will not turn away his punishment. God said he's not going to turn away his punishment. See, they think they got away with slavery and rape, rob, and murder right. and conquering the, uh, the Native American. They think uh -huh. they got away with that. But God will be an unjust God if they got away with that. Right. But we serve the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and we know we serve a just God. Come on. Right. Read. I will not turn away the punishment thereof. God said he's not going to turn away the punishment from the so-called white man. Read. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword. He did what? 
pursued his brother with the sword. He pursued his brother with the sword. What is the modern day sword? The gun. Right. He raped, robbed, and murdered and killed the children of Israel for no reason at all. So therefore, God got a judgment coming for him. And what that judgment coming for him? Keep on reading. Watch. Read. And did cast off all pity. What they do? Cast off all pity. Even in 2021, they hate all our people and they cast off all pity from our people. Even now, they still hate our people because it's recorded in the Bible that you were going to hate us. Because we were the children of Israel. We got chosen. Jacob, uh, Abraham, I mean, uh, Isaac chose us and then chose you. God told us and then told you. That's why we run faster. That's why we jump higher. That's why we better. Because God told us and we got the God gene running through our veins. That's why we run so fast. That's why we jump so high. That's why our women look so good. Even though they're out of damn order all the time. Read. And his anger did tear perpetually. What, what the white man did? His anger did tear perpetually. Perpetually means ongoing. His anger tear perpetually. He perpetually hate us to this day. He shoot our people down in the street. They go to court. They get not guilty. When he got killed right on the camera, and you go to this, this white man's system, and he tell him not guilty. That is an unjust king. This is an unjust kingdom. And God going to destroy it off the face of the earth. That's why he's bringing this coronavirus upon it. And he's bringing more, more plagues, just like he brought in ancient Egypt. Give me uh, give me Jeremiah 14 and uh, 2. That's right. Let's get it. What's the recompense? Because God got a judgment. God said, whatever man soweth, that shall he also reap. And the white man sold, raped, mm -hmm. robbed, and murdered throughout the whole earth, and he's still doing it today. Going over in another country, killing these people, taking their oil, taking their gold with his army and his sanctions. That's what he's doing. And God been to judge him with a great judgment. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. This is a prophet, Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Read. Judah morning. Judah morning. Read. And the gates thereof language. Isaiah 14, 2. Give me Isaiah 14, do. Give me Isaiah 14, 2. Read. Start at 1. Amen, brother. I agree. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. Right. For the Lord would have mercy on Jacob. Now the Lord is going to have mercy on Jacob. Jacob are the progenitor of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Read. And will yet choose Israel. He's going to do what? Choose Israel. God's going to choose Israel, which is the black, Hispanic, and Native American, and Indian, and Negro descent. Read. And set them in their own land. We're going back to our homeland, which is Jerusalem. We're going back to Israel. That's our homeland. We. And the strangers. And the what? And the strangers. The strangers are all the other nations outside the 12 tribes of Israel. When you understand the Bible, God made 18 nations and he chose one, which was the children of Israel, which was Jacob's 12 sons. We shall be joined with them. And the strangers, y'all going to be joined with us in the kingdom of heaven. We. And they shall cleave. To the house of Jacob. And y'all gonna cleave the, just like we cleave the your people for everything right now. Read. And the people shall take them. And the people shall what? Shall take them. And we're gonna take you. Read. And bring them to their place. And we're gonna bring you to the kingdom of heaven. Read. And the and the house of Israel shall. And the house of what? The house of Israel. The house of Israel, you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Read. Shall possess them. We're gonna do what? Possess them. Don't they possess us right now? Yes, they do. They possess us right now. They can do anything they want to to us. Ain't nothing going to happen to their people for doing it. Because we was brought here in captivity, and we still in captivity to this day. And this man, the one that rule over us. But in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to rule over them. We. And the church and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. And we're going to possess you in the land of the Lord, which is the kingdom of heaven. We. For servants. What they going to be? For servants. We. And handmaids. And handmaids. Y'all going to be servants and handmaids in the kingdom of heaven. And not right. just the white man, the Chinese man, the Japanese man, the Arab man, the African man, because we're not African. We are the children of Israel. Right. We. And they shall take them captives right. whose captives they were. And they're going to take them captives who captives they were. When we yell captives? And in 1692 and 1492 when you brought us over in slavery, were not we your captives? 
God said they're going to take them captives, we, whose captives they were. Because we're going to take y'all captives just like y'all took us captives. Right. This is what's coming forth the past. This is the prophecy in the Bible. God is a just God. You don't get away with nothing. Everyone is going to be judged according to the Bible. And we getting our judgment right now. That's why we went into slavery. That's why we still here getting killed in the streets. Because this is our judgment that God placed upon the children of Israel for breaking his laws, statutes, and commandments. And you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, y'all still breaking God's commandments? That's why you die at an alarming rate. That's why you get murdered down in the street. That's why you feel the penitentiary. Because you won't repent and come back and keep the oath that we made with Moses on Mount Sinai in Exodus 24 chapter. We're still breaking the commandments this day. You are here caught up in all the other nation's lifestyle, being in our doctrine. We. And they shall rule over their oppression. What are they going to do? Rule over their oppression. And brothers and sisters, we're going to rule over our oppressors. The same people that oppress us now, we're going to oppress them in the kingdom of heaven. Right. Give me Revelation 14 and 13. Get the hell out of here, will you please? 5 and 13? Isaiah 5 get and 13. Throw them out. Because your pastor don't know this Bible. We go through the volume of the book from Revelation to Genesis. We studied the thing. We walk this walk. We talk this talk. This our lifestyle here. We. The KJV. That's what Bible. Right. The King James Version. Same right. Bible y'all read. Read. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13. Read. Therefore my people are gone into captivity. Read that again. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. So, uh, Isaiah prophesying through the, the Spirit of Christ said, Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. We, because they have no knowledge. But they have no knowledge. We, and the honorable and the honorable men are famished. And the honorable men are famished. And what is the knowledge of God? Give me Malachi two and seven. Let me show you the knowledge of God. Because we don't say nothing without proving it. First Thessalonians five twenty one say, Prove all things. And we prove it with God's word. We don't speak our own word. We ain't your Christian pastor shucking and jiving and passing the collection rate pound, getting your money. We're going to give Christ that you freely receive, so freely give. We're giving it to you free. It ain't going to cost you nothing. We. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. What is knowledge according to God? We. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The priest's lips going to keep knowledge. We. And they should seek the law at his mouth. Seek the what? the law at his mouth. And they shall seek the law at his mouth. Now that's going to a couple laws. Give me Leviticus 20 and 13. Because this is a thing that's propagated over all America. Is God a just God? Is do God approve this? Did God make a mistake when he made a woman a woman and a man a man? Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who changed the truth of God into a lie? They say now you can be a man with woman, Paul, know, and a woman with man, Paul. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 13. And this is the law. Read. Over here. If a man also lie with mankind. If a man yeah, lay down with another man. Read. As he lies with a woman. If a man lay with another man like he do with a woman, meaning homosexuality. Read. Both of them have committed an abomination. Both of them has committed an abomination. What's going to happen to them? We. They shall surely be put to death. What God say? They shall surely be put to death. They shall surely be put to death. That's why you keep AIDS. That's why you keep gonorrhea and syphilis when you're living in them homosexual lifestyle. Because God said you're going to be surely put to death. That's a fact. Read. Their blood shall, shall be upon them. And I know a lot of y'all say, oh, well, Christ didn't speak that. Give me all, uh, let's go to Romans, let's go to the New Testament, because we know a lot of y'all Christians, y'all caught up in the New Testament. But not knowing when Christ and the apostles walked the earth, they didn't have the New Testament. They only had the old. Give me all uh, Romans 1 and 25. Do y'all got any questions? Do y'all got any questions? Okay, that's what's up. Teach him, huh? Let's go. <laughs> we always have. Yeah, start at 125. Because they don't know that in the New Testament, it talks about homosexuality as well. Read. This is the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 25. Because, think about it, if everybody was gay on the world, would you be here now? Hell no. You wouldn't. You couldn't. How you going to be here your mom and daddy ain't have sex? You, no, you wouldn't. Huh? Yeah, we ain't gay. You ain't gonna be here. But I'm saying, if the whole world was gay, would any of us be here now? Adopted wise? 
No, no, no. Listen to what I'm saying. If everybody was homosexuality, would you be here now without your mother and your father? No. No. It's impossible. Right. It takes a man and a woman to bring forth life. Read. This is the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 25. Read. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Because God said he made you a woman, he made you a woman. When God made a man, he made a man. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? We. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. And you say he, you worship and you serve the creature, which is man, more than the creator. Because the man told you a woman could be with a woman. A man told you that a man could be with a man. God said, who worship and serve the creature more than the creator? We. Who is blessed forever. Amen. Amen. We. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. What y'all going to know about the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he said God going to give you over to a vile affection. Whatever your heart, your mind seek, he's going to give you over to that and destroy you in that. We. For even their women did change the natural use of, of for even the, the women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Now I say, the woman changed the natural use of against that which was against nature. What's the natural use of the woman? Right, real simple. Right, <laughs> right real That's simple. That's right. There ain't nothing hard about it. The reproduce. That's the natural use of the woman. We. And likewise also the men. Likewise also the men. We. Leaving the natural use of the woman. The man left the natural use of the woman. He didn't want vagina no more. He wanted anus now. He left the natural use of the woman. We burned in their lust. Doing what? Burned in their lust. He burned in their lust, meaning you lusted so bad till you're going to lay down with the same sex. You lusted so bad till you're going to lay down with the same sex as you. And commit all kind of fornication because you burned in your lust so bad. We one toward another. What? One toward another. We don't. Men with men. What? Men with men. Men with men. We? Working that which is unseemly. Working that thing which is unseemly. That's an unseemly thing. God said, I don't want to see two men bumping. Right. Spread dookie everywhere. Right. <laughs> Read. And receiving in them, in, them, in themselves, that recompense of their error, which was me. God said it's a good thing for them to receive the recompense, meaning the payback in their error, which was me. That's why he fooled you with AIDS. Drop to the last verse in that chapter. Read. This is the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 32. Read. Who knoweth the judgment of the Most High? Who knoweth the judgment of God? Who knows it? Read. That they which commit such things. If you commit homosexuality lifestyles, read. Are worthy of death. What they worthy of? Worthy of death. What's going to happen to them? Death. We. Not only do the same. Not only do the same. He said they deserve death. But not only the same. Watch what he say. We. But have pleasure in them that do them. That have pleasure in them that do them. Meaning, oh, he, oh that's my friend. That he all right. He gay. God said he's going to kill you too. Right. If that's you right. agree with the homosexual in his homo life. Homosexual lifestyle, you're gonna be judged with them too, That's as right. it is written. That's right. Give me a, give me a, let's get, give me a, a please after 12 and 13. Let's finish it, man. Don't wipe it like the pals will be wiping. <laughs> 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 I'll pray the read. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. If you ain't heard nothing that we say, you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, the Indian, Negro, or descent, hear this. Read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, brothers and sisters. Read. Fear God. Do what? Fear God. Fear God. Read. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. Read. For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of men. This is why you dropped out your mama's womb to keep God's commandments. That's Read. right. For God shall bring every work into judgment. God going to bring everything that you do into judgment. Read. With every secret thing. All the things that you have done in the dog and thinking don't nobody know. That's what a lot of y'all are here doing now. Okay, a dog, I can sneak around and be wicked as hell now. Right. I could be a fornicator. I could be a faggot. That's why y'all like coming out in the dog. I know. We used to roam in the dog. We know what's going on in the dog. 
That's why God say every secret thing, the thing you do in the dark, read. With every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil, read. Okay, he said he's going to bring everything into judgment, whether it be good or evil. I like to give all honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for sure our Heavenly Father, mercy and do it forever. We do so in the name of his son, the Mashiach Yahweh Shai King, our Lord and Savior, the Prince of Peace, the Black Messiah. That's right. I would like to say Shalom from the light of Zion. For slaughter, the grunt and the eyes, we slaying they sons and daughters, and we gone up. Seek the vengeance of the Lord's coming, washing our feet in their blood, but they